In this video, I will talk about fingerprints and the ways to generate various fingerprints using RDGit. Now, what are fingerprints? These are important descriptors of a molecule and can be used for quantitative structure activity relationship studies and machine learning modeling studies. They can be highly useful in similarity and substructure searches, which is beneficial for virtual screening. It can aid in clustering similar types of molecule, which would help identify chemical classes and analyze chemical space. It can be highly useful in material science, which would assist in comparison and prediction of chemical properties of various materials based on their chemical structures. In reading different kinds of fingerprints, I will be using Google Collab. And the first step is installing RDKit library with the help of pip install RDKit PyPy command. It has been successfully installed. We will import different other libraries like pandas and numpy which would assist in data manipulation. Along with that we will import different modules from the RDKit library. So let's just go ahead and do that. Next uh, we will import an Excel file uh, using pandas library uh, which would contain different smile strings of the molecules. Let's have a look at the data frame. So the data frame that I have used here consists of 14 different molecules and it just contains their smiles notations. In order to generate molecular fingerprints, first you need to convert these smile strings into molecular objects. And you can do that with a simple with this command pandas tools dot add molecule column to frame which would take the smiles from the this data frame and make another column called mole which would contain these molecular objects. So let's just go ahead and run this command and see the output. So as you can see here uh, this data frame initially had only smile strings now we have appended a mole column which contains these molecular structures and we'll be, we will be using these molecular objects for creating fingerprints. The first fingerprint that we are going to be talking about is Macas keys. Macas keys are like a binary barcode that captures essential features of a molecule. The presence or absence of specific structural elements is encoded in the form of binary bits like zeros and ones, allowing chemists and researchers to compare molecules and identify similarities based on these key structural characteristics. Now, in order to generate Macas key, first we will generate this empty list. Then we run a for loop to iterate through each molecule. Now, uh, in, uh, during iteration, the first step would be to convert this molecular object we, which we have just created into, into bit vectors. Now what are bit vectors? A bit vector also known as a bit set or binary vector is a data structure that represents a fixed size sequence of binary values, typically zeros and ones. Each element in the sequence is called a bit. In the context of molecular fingerprints in chemi-informatics, a bit vector is often used to represent the presence or absence of certain features or substructures in a molecule. So we can generate the bit vectors using this command here. Now just to have a look at how this bit vector looks like, I will just use this command here and I will apply this to the first molecule in the data set. So this command here will grab the first molecule which is N-methylpyrrole. So let's just run this and see. So it looks something like that but in order to do some data manipulation we need to convert these bit vectors into um, numerical values like zeros and one. For that we need to convert this data structure of explicit bit vector into numpy arrays and for that I am generating an empty array here followed by converting this bit vector into numpy array. Following this, this array will be appended to the empty list and at the end of this loop we will get 14 different arrays in the form of a list. So let's just run this command and see how the list looks like.
as you can see here this is a list of 14 different areas but to utilize it for modeling or similarity searches we need to convert it into a data frame and we need to append it to our original data frame so that we know the fingerprint corresponding to which molecule. So this is the final data set which contains which contains our smile strings, molecular object and molecular fingerprint with one with 167 bits in the form of zeros and ones. After we have the data set in hand with smiles along with their MACAS keys, we can just drop this molecular column here since we don't need this and export this data set as an excel file or csv file the excel and csv files will appear here which you can download on your computer and further use it for data manipulation this is how the data set will look like smiles keys along with its fingerprint the next fingerprint that you can generate with the help of rd kit is pattern fingerprint the pattern fingerprint is designed with a set of generic patterns and when a molecule matches one of these patterns specific atoms and bonds involved in the match are hashed to generate a unique bit identifier however because bits are also set for the generic patterns themselves determining exactly which atoms contribute to a specific bit becomes complex and less straightforward compared to fingerprints where each bit corresponds to a fixed and specific smart pattern like we have seen in macas keys the methodology for generating pattern fingerprints is similar initially we generate an empty list followed by running a loop through each molecular object first it will convert first this function will convert uh, the molecular object into bit vectors which can be converted into numpy arrays followed by appending these arrays to this empty list and at the end of this command we will have a list containing 14 different arrays in the end we will convert this list into a data frame and append it to the original data frame which will give us the final data set containing smile strings with their corresponding pattern fingerprints. So let's just go ahead and run this and check how the data looks. These are the smile strings along with molecular objects and we have the pattern fingerprints of each of these smiles or molecules with a length of 2048 bits. Now if you want again you can just import it as Excel file download it on your computer. The code for this has been provided in the description. In the next video, we will talk about some more fingerprints. Thank you for listening.